Tacos turntable. These are all uh, actually Tim Bohr's bloodline and illustrations. So all the illustration paint on this this side right here. So everything from uh, the lifeline and bloodline, uh, all of our opaques, so illustration opaques. So opaque, this so is the Tim Gore's. Uh, well, uh, Tim, Tim Gore's and, and just the regular, like the, the grayscale. Uh, um, oh. Steve Gibson set, oh, Steve okay. Gibson grays are up there. Kind of custom uh, colors. Yep, this is all everything, everything like stock in terms of our illustration lines. So I right see. Right here, all these things are all illustration and sizes from one ounce all the way up to eight ounce. Okay. Wow. And this is pretty much the same through all these, using different. Yep, just different different paint lines. So on the back side here, this is all uh, Wicked Pearls, Wicked Pearls. And then as you move to the front, we have our Wicked Detail and just our regular Wicked line. So all the metallic pearls, pearls on this side, the metallic on the other side. Wow. These are all, uh, so these are uh, just to have it in storage, or these are just a regular. Um, production that you make yep. it just because this is stock request. Keep, yep. Well, this is production that we keep on the shelf so to fulfill orders. I you see. Know, so everything that you see on the shelves here uh, is what gets sent out, whether uh, somebody orders it through our website or uh, just to have it in stock. Retailers. Oh, you have all yeah. the candies. Oh, here. these are all candies. Yeah. Behind you, are these, like I said, these are all the uh, effects, like the hot rod sparkles. The cosmic sparkles, the highlight interference colors are all right there. So uh, every one of these containers has, yep. are full of colors. Most painting. of them. Some of these are a little thin. Like you can see, we these are the uh, discontinued in the auto wear color line. Oh. So this is the last that we have in terms of oh, the hot rod sparkles oh, for hot. these. But then we have, but we we just make it in the wicked uh, version. So it's but it's, it's not discontinued. But it, the, you know the just, auto wear. Just let me tell you that I love. Oh, Hot yeah, sparkles. That's my special sauce. Oh, right <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's like a signature it. kind of thing, you know. Lang, lang. It, it, most of the other artists, what you use to make oh, that yeah. sparkles? Yeah. And it's, when I explain for this, for the size the, of the flake, it, awesome. it looks much bigger than what you see in the bottle. It doesn't. Yeah, you, you don't even you expect bottle, you to see in yeah, the bottle. It, to, it actually looks like a mini flake. You know, it actually has like wow. a color shine. To it. So these were all the metallics and then candies, and these were all the sealers, all the Autoborn sealers over here. Wow. And then, uh, question: What is yeah. this containers? This big? These uh, are these are totes. And actually, this right here, what you're seeing is actually uh, waste. Oh, right, so okay. anything that's left over from the paint making process. Okay. So these, are these are actually the same size that we buy a lot of our resins. Uh, oh, we do get I see. Our raw materials. They cut them. Then those containers. Those yep. Like this one right here. This is a fresh one right here. Oh, I see. So that's how it comes in. Now. So this is is liquid or is it's a liquid? Yep. It's yep. liquid. Yep. yep. Okay. Wow. And here we have so we got, more uh, wicked fluorescence on this side. These are the Createx uh, airbrush pearls. The when we say Createx, uh, we're talking about what's the um, textile. Textile. The air, yep, textile. Yep. This is the OG. Well, what, the, the one paint. that that says only Createx is yep. textile yeah. paint. Yep, yep. And these are the wicked so the lines. Wicked, wicked fluorescence into the new wicked opaques. These are all the wicked opaques. Wow. Same thing, all different sizes that we offer. We just keep them in stock. So and of course, them. not many people know that you guys sell gallons because oh, yeah. most of the artists get just little yeah. bottles, yeah. you know. But of course, you guys have all kind of sizes. And yeah. we don't usually keep, we don't traditionally keep a lot of gallons in stock. Um, only because, again, like you said, it's not super popular. Uh, yeah. Certain colors, for sure, we do. We, we, you know, like obviously white and black is like. The, the, this the image shelf. looks familiar. Some I don't know who painted that. Some guy did. I don't remember who. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's I don't know not that that. crazy. I think it's, I think but it's this is us. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a few illustrations from everyone here, which are awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, you have still more paint in every yep. single. Oh, every aisle. So that's, oh, yeah. 
just more uh, Createx. These are all the solid colors, the opaques, the white, black, okay. all the way down the line on this side. And then we have the Createx Oh, these are solid colors. Yep. Yep, okay. these are all the solids. Fluorescence. Towards the end, we get into the transparents and the pearl colors as well. So the this is a... Colors. These are all the opaques. Paint paradise. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So are paint everywhere of all kinds. And here is uh, the shipping department, right? Yep. yep, this is where everything that makes its way out the door, whether it's, like I said, to fulfill an order for a customer or to fulfill an order for uh, one of our distributors. I you see. Know, whether it's here stateside or you know, overseas, this is where everything gets dialed in. This is the shipping department. The label machines, the label makers, like the labels that we saw right. on those uh, on that the two ounce machine, everything gets printed here. We just have the raw labels for everything, and then we, you know, whatever we're doing dictates the size, and then the, everything gets a batch code. That was right. like what Ryan talked about when he was in the lab. When we make a fresh batch of paint, everything is assigned a batch code, and that's what that is right there. Oh, so that's okay. a batch code that we follow. So every time a new Call, even if this is violet, if, if he makes it today and then he has to make it next Monday because we sell out of it or we uh -huh. run out of it, it gets another batch code. Every time oh. the paint is made, it gets another batch code. That's an easy way for us to keep track. You know, if there is a wow. problem with something or something goes wrong or somebody has something, an issue with the paint, it's an easy way for us to, oh, to, to detect. keep track and detect. Oh, this is, you know, because we keep every, every time he makes wow. a batch. There's always a, a, re a retain. We call it. It's a retain. So it's a wet sample of literally what comes out of that drum uh -huh. and gets put on the shelf. There's always an extra bottle, and it gets labeled the batch code, the date, who made it, and then we have that. We save it. So if there's an issue, I can go back. It could be something funky happened with this particular bottle. If I go right. to the batch code, I can check the retain. I can go and look and see if there's a problem with that retain. Obviously, if there's a problem with the retain. I know that there's a problem with the paint. If right. there's no you problem with that reveal. retain, then it's we kind of go back through and we can source or we can start checking bottles if it still is on the shelf and kind of figure out what's going on, it's, you know, what yeah. the avenue is. And, and like I said, it, it's a simple test for me to just grab a bottle and put it in a spray gun or put an airbrush and, and check, you know, right. and, and see what the bottle is doing, see how the paint's performing. If it's you okay. can track oh, absolutely. everything. Yeah. Take pride on... on you know, making sure that there is a standard that we follow in a, in a, Definitely. In a, a right way to do things in a wrong way, you know, and, and we try to uphold that standard and make sure that we're, we hold ourselves accountable to the highest level in terms of right. that quality. So here is the end of shipping and it this goes it out right of here. the door. Yeah, basically, like you said, but, we, we got these little heat tunnels that these guys are running and you basically put these, the shrink wrap on there, it goes through the heat tunnel, it comes out and, and it's ready, ready to, to go. Get the fill. Put, put it in order. a box and yep. goes out. Yep. And we have a, a revolving door here in <laughs> terms of trucks coming in and trucks going out. So oh. every day, every day stuff is leaving. These are all, all those skids. I see. Or orders that are getting fulfilled. And I so. noticed that you we are becoming a very special area right here. Yeah, a little. It's my favorite.